Hello. My name is Michael, and I am your today's host. Today I will discuss about how did a skyscraper-sized ship get struck in the Suez Canal, and what is its impact on the international trades, and should you be worried about it? But before that let me tell you about Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is an artificial sea-level waterway in Egypt, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea through the Isthmus of Suez and dividing Africa and Asia. Constructed between 1859 and 1869 by the Suez Canal Company formed by Ferdinand de Lesseps in 1858, it officially opened on 17 November 1869. The canal offers watercraft a more direct route between the North Atlantic and Northern Indian Oceans via the Mediterranean and Red Seas, thus avoiding the South Atlantic and Southern Indian Oceans and reducing the journey distance from the Arabian Sea to Europe by approximately 8,900 km, 5,500 mi, or 8 to 10 days. Now how did a ship get stuck in the Suez Canal? Cargo ship navigation through the canal is a carefully planned operation. More than 50 ships passed through it on average each day last year, according to figures from the Suez Canal Authority. The Ever Given is one of the largest ships in operation, at 193 feet wide and 1,312 feet long, exactly the maximum length allowed in the canal. Larger than the Eiffel Tower, the ship would take up much of the space in Washington's tidal basin. It holds about 20,000 containers. Each container is about 20 feet long. Each container was placed onto a truck, and each was six feet apart, the line would be about 170 miles long, and would stretch from D.C. to Trenton, New Jersey. During a sandstorm this week, the ship was battered by heavy winds, and the large number of containers it was handling may have acted as a sail, forcing it off course. That disruption appears to have caused the ship to become wedged sideways across the canal, with its bow pressed against the eastern wall and its stern wedged into the canal's western wall. The 25 members of the crew are all have been reported safe. Workers on these kinds of ships typically spend months at a time at sea. Teams have been brought in from around the world to try to figure out how to move the ship. Estimates as to how long the process could day vary, ranging from days to weeks. Tugboats are working to try to shift the ship, while dredgers are trying to move the sand and silt at the bottom of the canal to ease its path. As part of the process, the ship could be made lighter. But without specialist heavy machinery like cranes nearby, that may be a time-consuming process. Some experts have cautioned that removing the load could run the risk of damaging the boat or unbalancing it, further wedging it into the sand. No one can say when this cargo ship can be removed. This stranding has highly affected the international trade as Suez Canal is one of the busiest trade route. As of 27 March, there was a backlog of more than 200 ships left waiting in or near the canal, according to Leth agencies, including over 50 container ships, 22 crude oil tankers and 6 ships carrying livestock. The number has increased steadily each day as more ships arrive. Lloyd's List, a shipping journal, estimated that each day the canal is closed, some $9 billion worth of goods are affected. Ships forced to take an alternative route around Africa and the Cape of Good Hope face lengthy delays, adding around 15 days to their journey. Has this happened before? The answer is yes, the canal was closed for eight years after the Arab-Israeli War, before being reopened in 1975. There have been other smaller blockages more recently. In 2017, a Japanese vessel carrying containers became blocked in the canal after it had a mechanical issue. Tugboats and Egyptian authorities, however, were able to kickstart the ship within a couple of hours. So this is all for now. If you are interested in SpaceX Starship program, watch the daily update videos on my channel, also subscribe for more amazing videos. Till then keep watching.